Welcome back to the Black Hills and Eastern Railroad. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about selective compression. Coming up next. So I was thinking about uh, what I was going to say in the next video, and I was going, I was planning out a video regarding um, what actually we're modeling here on the on the Black Hills and Eastern, the uh, places and the and the spots in between, and uh, I really got thinking about what we're not going to model, and that got me started thinking about selective compression and a few interesting figures that I came up with. So, um, in thinking about that, I wanted to mention that we are modeling an HO scale. Uh, many of you know HO scale is 187 scale, uh, and I'll talk a little bit about N scale as well, 1 160th scale. Um, so, 87 inches on the real thing is one inch on, uh, on our models here. Uh, quite a bit smaller, um, but still really big, actually, as it turns out. Um, 5280, uh, 5,280 feet in a, in a mile. And um, if a guy wanted to model exactly a mile on a model railroad, you'd end up with uh, close to 60 feet, or actually a little bit over 60 feet of, of rail. That's uh, 20, or actually not, yeah, it is, um, uh, 20 sections of uh, flex track at 36 inches apiece. Um, so think about that for a little bit. Um, that doesn't get you any sightings, uh, no switches, no nothing like that, so that's just a straight mile. Um, and who, who among us can think of our favorite prototype railroad and think that they want to pick out just one mile, mile to model? Well, of course, uh, few of us actually do that, and uh, few of us, uh, many of us actually pick and choose what we're going to model. Uh, so that would be described a lot as selective compression. Then I was thinking about uh, the average uh, shuttle train that comes past us here uh, in my part of South Dakota, and uh, those things uh, typically are 110 cars long, and just for round numbers, I'm going to say 50 feet a car. We get around 5,500 feet. Um, that's not including your motive power um, and anything like that. Um, so 5,500 feet is actually a little over a mile. Um, let's say your uh, shuttle elevator on your layout can't handle a whole unit train. Um, so let's split it in half. Uh, we can split with a nearby uh, neighboring elevator, 54 cars. We're still down around 2,700 feet um, of, uh, of train that we need to model, and I believe that's somewhere around uh, a little over uh, a little over 30 feet. Uh, so, so have fun modeling that. Um, so that's what, what we do a lot of. Um, we kind of selectively compress the trains, the buildings, uh, the spaces in between, and we're going to be doing, or we're going to be showing you quite a bit of that type of thing here on the Black Hills and Eastern Railroad channel um, as we move forward. Uh, the next video will cover um, the towns and the areas that we're going to model, uh, most of it, a good bit of it here in South Dakota, southwestern Minnesota, um, northeastern or northwestern Iowa, um, but um, we're going to be compressing things together quite a bit. Um, but we still want to keep in mind that we're um, um, trying to establish the the uh, sense that we're moving, we're in the business of moving passengers and freight from point A to point B. Um, there has to be a reason for um, those road cars to get picked up, um, either empties or loads, uh, to go to a certain place. And that's really, um, as a model railroader, one of the aspects that I enjoy the most is the operations. And so we do need things to do. Um, so a bare mile, that uh, 60 feet of rail, um, without uh, any industries is not that interesting. So um, maybe one or two industries, we compress things together and get uh, a lot more of that than on, than on a model railroad. The object is to uh, put it together in a way that's plausible and, uh, and believable and stimulating to, to a crew of operators and myself. Um, and, uh, and shows off our creative side. That, uh, that's the key and uh, that's, uh, that's what we're trying to do. So um, that's uh, selective compression. In my mind, uh, how we're doing it, how we're using it, um, maybe let me know in the comments below how you're using selective compression if you're doing any creative things with uh, uh, putting your track plan together um, and uh, 
and making things uh, a little more interesting. Um, and of course, the other, the other side of that is too much selective compression is a bad thing as well. Um, and tell me about the mistakes you've made with it. Um, I've seen a couple of layouts in my uh, lifetime that are uh, beautifully well done, um, and that selective compression is um, not done very much of it, and it leaves space for green spaces in between uh, the in areas of interest, but yet they maintain a lot of operating potential for a large crew. Uh, I've been on several layouts like that and really enjoyed the heck out of them. Um, so, it, and they do have a large space. Um, I have a somewhat large space, but um, I feel yet that I'm uh, getting things crunched together quite a bit as I as I look into um, how we're going to do things and, uh, um, and how things are going to work together on this railroad. I hope you enjoy uh, seeing the railroad come together as we move forward. Um, we will be, the next video, um, I will be talking about our, our overall track plan, um, where we're going, the towns involved, and kind of give you an overview, um, maybe on the, uh, the, the video after that, of where we're at with construction with the layout. Um, here behind me, you see the uh, Sioux City Yard. Uh, I do, have to, do intend to have an uh, engine terminal here. Um, we do have a couple of engines sitting um, next to the yard here, um, getting ready to go back out on their next assignment. Um, right now, we're actually not at the stage of operating. Um, we will be um, actually make, we're at the point where we can do some transfer runs, but really um, the, uh, the intended format of the layout is not here yet. Um, but again, I hope you'll stick with us and uh, find out how it comes along. Thanks for watching. Um, Please consider subscribing, hit that like button, and...